You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> Asian beef, right? Yeah. Is... No, I was sent to China for a year. I love Asian food. Oh, well, do not get your hopes up, because this is probably the second time that I've cooked, and I would rather not talk about the first time. I don't think there's a recipe actually called Asian beef, is there? <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah, it's just, it's, uh, just... it's pretty hot. Oh. But it's good. No, I, I love spicy. It's really, really salty, too. <laughs> There's a whole heaping bowl of salt here. So we've been working together now for, what, what two years? I mean, almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. You know, I, I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then... And then Nathan looked after me, and, well, I mean, you pretty much know the rest, so. Yeah, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't, I'm, I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So, Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up, more or less. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but you know, I'm making progress. How to be a woman. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Iden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the infra world. Really not much about Iden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now, listening to us? And... No. Yeah, he never leaves me. Uh, what about you? Do you, have, do you have any family here? No. No, my, uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see him as little as possible. <laughs> and are you, um, are you married or anything? No, no. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for two years. And, uh, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? Uh, no. I've got Iden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. You know, Iden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. Ian's got nothing to do with this. Come on! You know how you're supposed to do it. That's something we always have trouble in video games making kissing look good making pouring stuff look good wow that escalated fast this guy must be like 40 years old Jordan, what's the matter? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not um, it's not your fault. There's there's just there's some things that I can't forget. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's 
No! Don't go! Damn it! <laughs> Just had to ruin it by bursting into tears. I'm so tired. Can we go now? Oh, jeez. Is that what time it is? <laughs> I'm sorry. I was concentrating on my work. I know you've had a long day. Hey, this morning I bought you a book. What do you say we get you tucked in and I read to you? Yes, please. <laughs> I must have left it in the other room. Why don't you go in there and get it? I'll finish up here and then we can go, okay? Sure, I'm on it. <laughs> so, where did he leave that book? Stop it, Aiden. It's not funny. How does she know Aiden's name? Or did she just, like, give it a name? Aiden? Are you doing that, Aiden? Judy. <laughs> ah, you found it. Now we can get down to the serious business of bedtime stories. <laughs> Jody. Jody, you okay? She looks dead tired is how she looks. Come on, Nathan, let's get her off to bed. Yes, yes, hold on. Nathan, it's for you. Nathan Dawkins. Nathan, what's up? My wife. Lord, they were coming back from my mother's. Truck. Drunk driver. Wrong side of the road.
That's sad. Let's get you off to bed. I need to stay right here. I'll be right back. Come on, Jody. Jamal Sheikh Sharif, one of the most dangerous warlords in the country. He commands a heavily armed militia, using it to control several important districts in the city, which means none of our humanitarian aid is getting through. You have to find Jamal and eliminate him. He relocates twice a day. Last time we pinpointed him was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. Not much of a chance he's still there, but it's as good a place as any to start looking. You'll be on your own this mission. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. You identify and eliminate your target, then activate your GPS beacon so we can extract you. We need to get you out before sunrise, so don't waste any time. Now, the last American soldier that was captured here was pulled through the city behind a jeep. And they found his head, one of his legs, in a fishing boat. I wouldn't recommend it. I'll be back before they even realize what's happened. Watch yourself out there, Jody. I don't want anything to happen to you. Little did she need you know, she would soon be a traitor. Hunted I'm by the entire CIA. That guy looks like really dopey, at least in that shot. Good luck, Jody. All of a sudden, it's like GI Jody. Did any of you like watch like the old eighties G.I. Joe cartoon? I didn't watch it, it was like a little bit too early for me. But I would like I looked it up, like looked up episodes after the fact. It was pretty awesome. No direct engagement with the enemy, no backup. Check that there are no soldiers around, I didn't. My favorite G.I. Joe, like, parody or whatever was from uh, a site which I did grow up watching called, like, Homestar Runner or whatever. And uh, I love Homestar. Okay, there's two guys here. But, uh... They had like a concept, I guess. Or like a, a, a skit. And it was called like Cheat Commandos or something. It was like a G.I. Joe ripoff. One of the commandos was called Reinforcements. I thought it was hilarious. Blue laser is gonna blow up the ocean. I'm gonna blow up the ocean! Sorry. Huh? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Last shake.
Man, I really hope. Point was at the Zanaki Hotel, which is right here. See if you find anything. Our enemies, you know, don't have eardrums. Great. Now let's go. Let's go. I don't know if I like these stealth controls, they're quite awkward. Oh, took out those bastards, no problem. Do we even know why we don't like this guy? Why we want to kill him? Because he's stopping our humanitarian aid or some bullshit? Yeah, okay. This is an Hotel. They've gone. There's one not far from here. Should be easy to find.
الرفاقه لن تتعبوا من هذا الوضع ابدا من اي وضع Jeez, I thought they were shooting at me. Fortunately, my enemies don't have sight either. Like, how is it really to snap somebody's neck? Like, I've always wondered that. Like, is it something you can really do just like, super, like instantaneously? شخصا ما منكم سيقتل الان جدا اليس I feel like I'm cheating.
Someone almost did the job for me. Okay. Well, unfortunately, where they are, he's going to have to wait until next time, because I do have to end this Let's Play for now. So I'm hoping to get a blue savey thing. You know, sometime soon. Jeez, I have no idea if I'm on the right way. Sorry, I, I, I don't understand a word you're saying. Salim, Salim. Your name is Salim. Salim. Jody. I'm. Jo Jody. Jody? Yeah, yeah, Jody. 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 Oh shit. Looks like we have some new friends. Okay. Well, unfortunately, this is where we're going to have to leave it here. At this dramatic injuncture with the child soldier shooting people. So, until next time, this has been Joseph B. Ron and Stalin. And, you guys, 